In this video, we're going to be plotting a portion of a public land survey system, and we're going to be using Muncie's Plat Pronto. We're going to click on, within the program, we're going to be click on Survey, we're going to click on General, and click on the PLSS button. It'll, plot up, it'll pop up a public land boundaries notice, and this particular notice regards the theoretical positions for section corners, letting you know that these are not the legal corners, at least they're not the corners that are in the public record. They're simply the ones that are based on latitude, longitude, um, the positions of the meridians, and the distances uh, that should have been laid out by public record. The differences between some of these distances and the actual distances on the ground uh, have to do in part with the uh, uh, how the corners would have been laid out if they had a modern survey system. If you click on OK, it'll bring up the public lands survey entry window. Now, in this particular dialog, you're going to see a, a section definition, a coordinate definition, and a portions of a section definition. Uh, we'll start with the section definition we have to, in order to get the section, we have to know where, where the survey system is. In this particular case, we're interested in the Oklahoma Indian 1870 uh, system. And that had a particular baseline and meridian as is shown here. And we're interested in Township 12 North and Range 13 East. And in this particular case, we're interested in Section 20. We wanted none of the sections but the entire township we would click on none or select none at the bottom or if we wanted all sections plotted within the township we would select all. In this case we only want section 20. Under the coordinate system uh, we're going to go with the NAD 83 it's the most recent or at least at, at the time the program was written it was the most recent survey system available and the projection we're going to go with Oklahoma North because it can be used to uh, cover virtually the entire state if you needed to, but mostly all of the North, was, which is where the section is located. Um, in the portions of a section, we're going to plot uh, the first portion, which is going to be all of the first portion, which means we're going to plot section 20 and nothing else outside of section 20. So if we click on OK, you'll see that that particular section is plotted. And it seems to be sloped at uh, uh, some angle to north, to magnetic north. Now this is the way it really is. Uh, on the ground, uh, these, these particular meridians um, are, are based on, are supposed to be based on true north, but in the uh, UTM coordinate systems, these these particular meridians converge, but if in a plane coordinate system uh, they they will reference the uh, the top of the map and they'll be pointing in a different direction. Each one of them will not point directly north. All of the meridians will point in a different direction and that's because only the prime meridian actually points to true north. The rest of them on a plane survey will, will plot in some other direction as, as you proceed away from them east and west. So now we have section 20 and if we zoom into the center of it you'll see that it, it has labeled Township 12 North Range 13 East Section 20 640 acres. We'll go to the section here. We'll turn off the uh, points and just show the, the tracks. And um, this is what we were after, but now we're actually interested in a portion of that section. So we want to plot a portion, uh, portion of that section within this particular section. So we'll zoom back out. We'll go back to the public land survey window. And it remembered the inf information we entered previously here, so we'll just go ahead and we're interested in the southeast quarter. Though it's a portion of the southeast quarter, we're gonna, first going to plot the southeast quarter just so we can see where that's at. And we click on OK. Now it's plotted the southeast quarter. 
Now we're interested in the the southwest quarter of the southeast quarter. So let's go back to the PLSS uh, dialog window and we're interested in the southwest quarter of the southeast quarter. We click on OK. Now we have the location of the survey that we're interested in. And really um, outside of plotting the survey this is all there is is to laying out a section. Uh, if you have a survey within this section, you can actually then draw it within that section. But this will get you started, and this is basically part one of a series on public land survey layout. Um, if, if you want to use this, it's fine. But you'll see that in many cases, the north bearing won't match what's in your, your actual survey. And if you'll zoom in and take a look at the bearing, we'll see that it, it probably differs from what you have. Now, we're interested in a, a bearing that's um, um, basically north five minutes west. And this is north one minute, uh, north one degree, 15 minutes, 25 seconds west. So that won't match up with what uh, our original survey says. We can rotate that. You click on tools, you go rotate. And if, if you need to get that rotated to a particular bearing, you click on Rotate. In this particular case, we'll just say 0.1, though it really doesn't matter. We're going to rotate all of it, so as long as we have a point within the system, we can use that. And we're going to rotate it one degree. Uh, let's see. We want it to be... Yeah, we're going to rotate it one degree, 21 minutes, and 12 seconds. And that should get us what we want. We'll click on OK. Now it's north 5 minutes, 47 seconds east. And this was basically what we were after to make sure that it's, it's largely in the direction that we're interested in. Oh, you can rotate it to virtually any any direction that you need. Uh, but this is an example of what's possible. And this is what you would do if you were plotting a public land survey system. Um, is, is in order to get a base image of just where the plot, it, the, uh, the lot or tract is. And that's all there is to setting up a section or a portion of a section. And if you have any questions, uh, please give us a call or send us email. Thank you.